we need subscribers around here so that we can uh, get monetized one of these days. Like I'm that person that walks around my house in my underwear, something that I have to or do work all day, I don't wanna wear that. With rollers in their hair type of robe, I don't wanna look like that. The underwear, I would say I would never buy them again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, how y'all doing? My name is Zelente and welcome to the channel. Today is another clothing haul, you already know. <laughs> like that's my favorite thing to do is shop. So we're here with another clothing haul. This time it's with Skims. I've done a Skims review before. It was like a year ago though. And everything I got in that video was basically from the cotton collection. This time I just shopped in the loungewear department, period. And I tried to go through, she has like 10, collections maybe i'll put it on the screen whatever is the correct amount but um kim has like i want to say 10 to 12 different loungewear lines within her loungewear collection so this i try to go to every little department and see what i can find in my size because once again it's continuously sold out i don't know what's up with that but majority of the stuff be sold out especially in my size so, or just period, like they don't have any size at all. So, like I said, this is a Skims haul and I will be giving my thoughts on the items that I got this time. We could talk a little bit about uh, my last review. I had maybe six items and the underwear, I would say I would never buy them again. I thought that they were gonna be comfortable and everything, but no. Uh, they're not my favorite. They remind me of Victoria's Secret underwear a little bit. And uh, personally, not for me. They stretch out and then you have to deal with stretchy draws all day. Like they stretch out before the day's even over. You literally cannot, yeah, not my thing. And they don't stay in place. I like underwear to stay in place and not be moving around where I have to adjust all day. So those were not for me. However, the loungewear that I got last time from the Cotton Collection, I like them. I still wear them. I probably wear them the most because they're close to like wearing panties and bras. <laughs> like I'm that person that walks around my house in my underwear and that gets me the closest to walking around in underwear, but actually dressed. Okay. So let's get to this one. This haul, I got 10 items. I did have my cart with like 21 items in it, but on the website, they only let you get 10 items at a time and I'm not gonna do more than one transaction back to back and then have to redo my cart. I'm not going to do more than one transaction and have to remember all the things that I put in my cart, especially when half the time you have to search for your size and something to find something to buy because it's just like, you're literally be on that website for hours shopping if you're trying to get m multiple items because it's gonna be hard to find your size. <laughs> Again, did I say that enough? It's gonna be hard to find your size. Even though it does go up to like 4X on there, but it's still, be sold out. It doesn't matter that it goes up to four eggs because they probably put like five of them at a time in stock so that people can keep being on their website. Okay, so to the clothing items. Okay, so first things first. First things first, I have the um, items from the Mesh collection. I just bought one set. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it or not. Uh, I don't think I do. I don't think I'm gonna wear this. It's comfortable, it's lightweight but it's a net, it's mesh <laughs> and it's really see-through. So yeah, I don't see, I don't see me wearing it. So I'm probably gonna send it back. However, let me see. The receipt doesn't say the price on it. So I will be putting the prices up on the screen as the thing goes on, as the video goes on. And yeah, so from the mesh collection, I got this t-shirt. So 
We have this t-shirt here. It's see-through and I believe it's a cropped t-shirt. I'm not 100% sure it's cropped on me. However, I do have a bump. <laughs> so I don't know if it fit like that on everyone, but yeah, this is a size extra large and it's just a basic t-shirt if it's like a crew neck t-shirt um it's very very stretchy so you if you're a person that likes to see if you can go down a size you can but it will fit good in your size there's not much to say about it it's see-through it's mesh it's very lightweight and they call it the summer mesh i guess if you're <laughs> not controlling the temperature in your house. Or maybe you could wear it out. Some people like to wear mesh items out. I would not personally wear it out, but if that's your swag, go ahead and do it. Here are the shorts. I really feel like when putting these on, they really felt like you're putting on, um, what is that called? The stuff you wear under your clothes. What is it called? Um, shapewear. So yeah, it felt like putting on shapewear kind of, but it got on me. It didn't pop any seams or anything like that to get on. It looks small when you get it. Like these literally look like they're probably size small, but they're not. They stretch really good and they're see-through. Not as see-through as the shirt, but they're see-through. And I also got these in a 2X, and this color is Onyx. Again, the Summer Mesh Loungewear Collection. On to the next one. Okay, the next two items I have are from the, uh, the Boyfriend Collection. This is all, again, in the loungewear section, but there's several collections underneath the loungewear section. Okay, so from the Boyfriend Collection, I got this tank. It's just a regular tank, uh, like a wife beater. It's stretchy. It reminds me of the Cotton Collection tanks, however, it's long and it's longer. So you probably wanna size down, which I read, um, when I read the reviews, a lot of people were saying you could size down because this um, collection runs big, but um, I did not size down. So the top and the bottom, I both got them in color clay. So uh, this is a rib tank top. It's very stretchy and I got it in size large. It fits me like a regular tank top, full length tank top. The cotton collection does not fit like a full length. It's like a crop tank type situation. So that's why I'm saying this fits like a full length one, but it's comfortable, it's cute. I'll probably keep it. Um, I don't have any complaints about it and I know that I'm going to wear it. So yes, that's the tank. Now the boxer brief also in clay. I probably could have got these in a smaller size, but they're comfortable in the size that I have them in. So I'm not gonna complain about that. They are in size 2X. These are not ribbed at all. They are thinner than the top is, and it's just smooth, soft cotton. So it's in the color clay. I really like this color. Felt like it looked good on me. And these are 2X. I can get them in 1X or maybe even smaller, but yeah, I like how they fit on me. I'm not going to get a smaller size in these. Maybe next time if I order, I'll get a smaller size, but mm, I'll keep these ones. Okay, next up I have a tank from the Cotton Collection. I bought it in, it's just a black tank. Well, their color is called Soot. It's in color Soot and I got it in size large. I got this one by itself because I already have, um, some boxer brief, not boxer briefs, they're just like briefs. They look like brief underwear, but they look like men's brief underwear, but they're women's, whatever, you know, and they're high waist and everything. I got these in my last haul, but I never went back to go look for my top again because like I said, the stuff be sold out on that website all the time. So when I seen it this time, I was like, oh, let me add this so I can wear it with my shorts because I always just wear a black tank that I already have, but I would prefer to have the matching tank. So I went ahead and got that. This is in size large. It's from the Cotton Collection. It's stretchy. You can, I would agree that you can definitely size down, which is why I got this in large because I have the white color, which is bone in extra large. And I would prefer it in large because 
I usually don't wear a bra when I wear this. So yeah, the large fits really good and I like it. All right, the next two items I got from the waffle collection. So this here is the waffle scoop bra. I believe that's the correct name. I will put it on the screen anyway. So if it's not correct, you'll know the correct name, but it's the scoop neck. It's low in the back, lower in the back than it is in the front. This is very comfortable. It's so soft. It's warm, let me tell you that. So this would be something <laughs> that you would want during the colder seasons. I got this in extra large. The color is mineral. It's very comfortable. I'm most likely keeping this. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's good loungewear for sure for sitting around in the house. And I got the brushed waffle jogger also in the color mineral to go with the top and as you can see it has the jogger ankle that actually fits on your ankle and is not loose and it has the waffle type you can see the waffle design more on the inside it reminds you of long johns or thermals if you don't know what long johns are but anyways so it's very comfortable warm it's soft and cozy my life you know, I'm just trying to be comfortable at all times. It does not have pockets. Uh, it does have the waistband with the tie on the inside of it. So you can roll down the waistband if you think, if it bothers you to have it on the inside, which I would roll it down because this tie is like big for it to be on the inside to me. It, it looks bulgy when it's folded up like this instead of folded over like that. So that's how I like to wear it. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have much to say, but <laughs> it's very comfortable. I like the color, surprisingly. And this was like the only color available in my size. So I was like, eh, I guess I can try it, but I like this color. It's kind of reminds me of like this sage color that's out right now. It might not be as bright or pastel-y as that, but that's what it reminds me of when I look at it, sage if you want something to compare the color to. This next item is from the Soft Lounge collection. <laughs> it's definitely soft, stretchy, very comfortable, something you can definitely size down in. You might be able to size down two sizes. I can't really lift this up because it's super long. It's maxi on me and I got it in size large. So let me show you the top, what I can show you. It, got, it has ribbing on it. It's ribbed, it's stretchy. It show, like The dress looks like it has curves on its own without it even being on your body. I got it in large because most of the time in dresses, I can go with my upper body size instead of my lower body size, especially if it's stretchy. So I got it in large because that reason. I feel like extra large would also fit me good. But hey, this one fit really good. I could just imagine that extra large would be really on the ground for me. Mm, this is something I, you could probably wear outside of the house too. Yeah, I will say that you could wear it outside of the house. It doesn't look like it's see-through. However, you're not gonna be able to wear underwear and stuff like that with it. So unless you don't care about panty line showing or if you like to wear thongs or whatever, yeah, you're gonna need something where your underwear won't show. You'll see in my little video that uh, uh, my underwear are showing very well and the straps are adjustable like bra straps on it so that's helpful it fits really snug on the body and it's not like where you have to hold your breath it's comfortable and smooth and buttery type cotton I like it a lot however I did not like the price a lot I think it was $78 if I remember correctly but I had to grab it to show y'all or did I have to grab it because I thought it was cute Anyways, this color is called Iris Mica, and I got it in size large. It's comfortable and I'm probably gonna keep it even though it's $78. Can I justify that? We'll see. Okay, getting down to the end, last two items. The next item I have is called a Terry slip dress. Um, it's Terry, <laughs> it's Terry material. So this dress, it's very short. So let's talk about this dress. It's very short, it's stretchy, but it feels like a towel, like literally feels like a towel. So you could get out of the shower and dry off with this if you wanted to. <laughs> um, 
It's very tight, very short. I got it in size extra large because a lot of people said it was short, but um, I need it in like, 3X probably to be comfortable in it. And I think this was also $78 like the other dress, but I can't fit this dress at all. I'm not comfortable in it and not just to even sit down on my couch and watch TV. I'll be pulling it down all day. It's something that I have to do work all day. I don't want to wear that. So yeah, it's warm. It's definitely warm. So you wouldn't probably want to do it in summer weather. Even though it's a teeny dress, it's still warm and it's a thicker material, feels exactly like wearing a towel. Um, <laughs> and it is comfortable though. I can say that it's comfortable because the stretch in it makes it comfortable. Yeah, so I got this in size extra large and it's in color desert. It does have the ad adjustable straps, like bra straps. And hey, if you can get away with wearing it that short, I would say get it if that's your swag. I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about it. And the last item, another item that I can't really hold up because it's super long. So you're not gonna really be able to see what's going on. You'll see in the side clip. However, we are going to talk about it. So this is in color Honey. It's size extra large. It's from the Velour collection. It's called the Velour Fleece Long Robe. The only complaint I have is it's huge. So <laughs> I could probably get a medium in this. Uh, I would probably go with the large. I don't know. It's very big. It's big. I mean, I understand some people like, like their robes to be just like a blanket when you put it on, but I want it to be like a blanket, but I also want it to fit. I don't want it to look like somebody's mama uh, that's dropping them off. <laughs> somebody's mama that's dropping them off at school uh, with rollers in their hair type of robe. I don't want to look like that. But anywho, it's very soft and comfy just like a little throw blanket you would have on your couch. So, hey, I no complaints about that. It also has pockets, which we always need pockets. And it just has the normal ties, the inside tie, and then the tie to close the robe completely. This is very expensive. I don't think I would wanna pay that much for a robe. It's like 128, I think. It's slightly expensive. It's heavy, good quality, and I don't have anything else to say about that. So yeah, all in all, <laughs> everything I order from Skim seems to pretty much be on point, except for those underwear that I bought last year. I won't buy those again. Um, I might try her other um, underwear that's like fits everybody type underwear or whatever. But yeah, oh, this robe is real stretchy too. I didn't realize that. So yeah, you can definitely size down a lot in this because it was oversight, it was overpowering to me, but it's comfortable. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So, so far our Skims, I don't have any complaints about Skims. They have very good quality stuff that seems as if they will last. Well, you have no choice but for it to last unless you wash it incorrectly because all of this stuff, I did not mention that before, everything is hand wash. Do I hand wash them? No, I use the hand wash cycle or the delicate cycle on the wash machine and it, it does good. So I use, I use wool light, well, sometimes if I have wool light, but outside of that, I use the hand wash um, setting on the wash machine and we're good to go. So that's the down part I would say is hand washing. Who's gonna be hand washing unless you have maids or something? I'm not hand washing, I'm just not. And then I usually um, hang them to dry though. I do do that. I air dry them. Every once in a while they might get in the dryer, but when I do, I put it on the delicate cycle in the dryer. Majority of the time when I'm thinking, which is, We'll say 98% of the time I put it, um, I hang them to air dry. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share it. If you share this video, it will help me get my subscribers up.
we need subscribers around here so that we can uh, get monetized one of these days. But anyway, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, comments, leave it down in the comment area down there. You know, down there. Until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.